Google created their own Pixel Pass to consolidate their services, including a phone, into one monthly cost bundle, but is it worth it? What's up everybody, this is Scott. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the Pixel Pass, which was announced with the Pixel 6 and the Pixel 6 Pro. I'm gonna break down the cost so you can see what you effectively pay for the phone over the course of a few years and what you pay for when it comes to just those additional services. Pixel Pass looks to take a chapter from Apple's book like that of the Apple Upgrade Program, which allows customers to pay for an iPhone via monthly payments and offers an extended warranty, as well as separate Apple One services bundles. The Pixel Pass starts at $45 per month for the regular Pixel 6 and climbs to $55 for the Pixel 6 Pro per month. You can subscribe either through the Google Store or through Google Fi, depending on your choice of carriers, but it's only available in the US for now. Now let me repeat that again, because this is a point that I think a lot of people are getting very confused you do not need to be on Google Fi in order to use and get the Pixel Pass. It works on all major carriers here in the US, but check Google's website to be sure, just in case your carrier's not on there. Pixel Pass subscribers are eligible for an upgrade after two years, Google says, and the subscription also includes an extra year of warranty coverage over the standard one-year manufacturer warranty, AKA the preferred care that I'm gonna be talking about here in a little bit. With both the Pixel Pass plans, you can either get the Pixel 6 or the Pixel 6 Pro with some of the following included services. YouTube Premium ad for watching and back background play while using other apps and included in that is YouTube Music Premium for ad-free uninterrupted listening. Now currently for those two services this costs $12 for both of the services together to make sure that you can enjoy listening to ad-free music also ad-free YouTube videos which by the way totally worth the price and this is somebody who gets paid for ad placements on YouTube so yeah, absolutely worth its price for sure. Google One comes with 200 gigs of safe, reliable cloud storage for full resolution photos and videos, and the Google Store discounts automatic phone backups and more. Currently, this plan costs $2.99 per month for that storage. Next one that comes with the Pixel Pass is the Google Play Pass with access to hundreds of games and apps completely free of ads and in-app purchases, and it costs $4.99. Last but certainly not least is that preferred care that I mentioned earlier, and that preferred care coverage covers life's little accidents and hassle-free device repairs and costs $7 per month for the Pixel 6 and $9 per month for the Pixel 6 Pro. So with that said, I'm gonna do some math and I'm trying to do the math on the internet, so take that as you will. Those services total up to between $27 and $29 for all of the services that come with the Pixel Pass. And that leaves about $18 per month or $28 per month for a Pixel 6 or Pixel 6 Pro respectively. Google says when you subscribe to the Pixel Pass on the Google Store, you can save up to $294 over the course of two years, plus your Pixel is unlocked, so it works on all of the major carriers. However, I wanted to break down to see exactly where the savings are coming from. So total up in two years, you will have paid $432 for a Pixel 6 and $648 for the services. If you were to pay for all of those services plus the full price of the phone, you would be paying $1,247 versus you paying $1,080 if you were on the Pixel Pass plan. Meaning, if you already had those services and you're already paying for those services, it makes a whole lot of sense for you to use the Pixel Pass. For the Pixel 6 Pro, in the two years, you will have paid $672 for the phone and $696 for the services for a total of $1,368. Again, if you were to pay for all of those services plus the full price of the phone, you would end up paying $1,595 versus $1,368 if you were on the Pixel Pass plan. Google says if subscribers cancel before the two years are up, they have to pay off the remaining value of just the Pixel device at its non-discounted price when they lose access to all of the bundled services. So the YouTubes and the Pixel Preferred and all of that, that would all be gone. Now, in my personal opinion, if you don't use these services, it doesn't make a lot of sense for you to get them because you're gonna be paying for well over stuff that you would normally use. But if you already use any of those services or a multitude of those services, 
it does start to make more sense to consider the Pixel Pass. Now for my own personal example, I use all of those services except for one, the Play Pass. So if I were to remove that $4.99 per month, which comes out to the cost of $120 over the course of those two years, I would still end up saving about $100 on the Pixel 6 Pro if I were to go all in on the Pixel Pass plan. Overall, I think it's a pretty cool way to get people involved into the Google ecosystem to show others that Google's got a pretty darn good, cool ecosystem in its own right. But depending on which services, the Pixel Pass may or may not be for you. So that's it. That's all I have. Thanks for watching. And as always, like, share, subscribe, thumbs up, leave a comment below, and we'll see you next time. <music>